Hello, everyone. This is Jeff Wilkerson, professor of physics at Luther College, bringing you another in a series of working with graphs in Kaleidograph. Uh, so what we're going to do this time around is we're going to talk about adding things, adding symbols, adding data, adding text, adding uh, items to a, a graph that we've made in Kaleidograph. So you see before you there a uh, graph that I've made. We've looked at things like this in other videos. If you've seen these other videos, this is the graph of a, a variable star light curve, a brightness versus time graph that we see uh, the stars getting fainter down in here and getting brighter and so on. This is one year's, one summer's worth of data from our, our research data. And so one of the things we might want to do here is just come in and look at this and say, well, here's, here's something we could do. Uh, we could um, ask a question about what's going on at this point right here at the bottom of the of the of the graph, uh, where it was at minimum. So I might want to label that. I might want to come up here and label that with an arrow. So I'm going to select that arrow, and I'm going to draw it like this, and point that arrow at at that spot right there to call people's attention to it. I might have made a mistake and made the arrow point. I might want to make the arrow point another direction so I can point, I can drag it around and have it point that way and slide it up there. Or I can drag it back around this way and slide it back over where it was. And I can shrink it a little bit to give me a little bit more room to write my text, or I could drag it out and make it longer. Uh, so, anyway, you see uh, how we can manipulate that arrow to talk about what we're going to. Now we come up here and select the text and we can choose all kinds of uh, you know fonts and sizes and styles of text up here uh, so we're just going to click on the text and take whatever the default is up there and make a box right there and we're going to ask a question we're going to say uh with this thing got particularly low right there so we're going to say hey is this dust obscuration I, I, I don't think it is but we're going to ask that question anyway so we're going to ask hey dust obscuration and i can slide that around to make this look like what uh, we want that to look like, I, whatever we think looks best for um, making this uh, making this arrow, arrow do what we want to do. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you like that. Maybe you like it a little more over here. Uh, maybe you think that's too big given the size of everything that's else that's out here so let's go to uh 10 point font and see what that looks like yeah I, I like that look just a little bit better given the size of the data points we have and so on so we've, we've done something to add a little bit of text a little bit of interest to our graph right there we might want to know uh we can we'll look at this again we're we're, we're trying to segregate these videos into manipulating graphs and manipulating data so we'll look at this again when we, when we do some manipulating data videos later on or at a different time but we might want to come over here and say ah oh, this was the year that was centered around 4400 where that uh day 4400 where that um that that low point was so let's find the julian date that's around 4400 and what we can do is we can look at this um we can oh, uh, we can look at this data file. Let's come up and pull this thing over like this. Uh, we can actually shrink the window down here a little bit, uh, make it a little easier to manipulate for us. And let's actually just pop down to, to the year that's centered on 4,400 that we're seeing right there. Um, it starts just over 4,200. Uh, so there's the break in the years, uh, 4,100. Uh, the year before 4120 and 4289 so it's right there we're looking at magnitude four is what we have plotted uh we have these days masked out so we probably want to mask these days out here so we're going to come up and mask that out and we're going to mask that out we mask those out because those dates didn't didn't meet photometric quality tests uh that is to say there that we do we do some tests to see was it the data uh good enough to use on that night and we think probably not on these nights that are masked out so there you go so it looks like we're looking at year 2015 uh in this data set but now what i can do is i can i'll highlight this and i missed by one and i'll come in and grab this data set pull it down in here uh and say do a little shift and and grab that and so we got this just range highlighted so i can come up and i can say 
hey, you know what I would like to do is I would like to get some statistics on that. So there's statistics down in here. And it's written some statistics from what I just said. So there were 43 points in that year. Uh, and it tells me what the mean magnitude was, what the median magnitude was, what the maximum and minimum. And I might want some of that information in here. So I'm going to say copy that to the clipboard, okay, and come over here and I'm going to paste it right on my graph. I do a control V or a paste operation. And now it's, it's written right over my graph. It's too much stuff. So let's get rid of some of that. So I'm going to pop this open and I'm going to say, you know, I don't really want that first one. So I'm going to highlight that first row. I don't need that in there for sure. Come up under edit and say, delete that row. Uh, the sum doesn't mean anything to us. Uh, and so we're going to delete that row. We might want to know how many uh, data points there were that year and the mean and the median probably make uh, sense to us and maybe the standard deviation. So let's keep those, but let's get rid of everything else. Uh, the, you know, other, some of that other stuff might be valuable, but let's delete those rows and see what we got. So let's say, okay, and see, that's a little bit better. It's not obscuring our data quite as much, but it still is a little bit. Uh, one way we can fix that is to come in and select everything in the data table like that, go up here to size and say, let's make it size 10. Uh, that's a little bit better. It, it, isn't, it, isn't, uh, it isn't covering our data too much, a little bit out here on the edge. I could continue to make this smaller. And, and one way I could make, I could, I could extend this axis up. I could say, let's make that 12.5 instead of 12.4, I mean 12.6. Now, you see what happened? It moved these arrows and the dust obscuration, and I'm going to have to remove those things. I, I don't like it. Let's go back to 12.6 to is where it was. Let's just go back to what we were before. Um, okay. Um, I took that. No, rid of my decimal point. Okay. So we're back to where we were. Uh, everything seems to be a little bit messed up now. We can just drag this around and try to fix it. Okay, we got that back to where we wanted to be. Uh, we didn't quite get what we wanted to do here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in, and if I click on that 12.85, that's way too many digits. We don't know our, our, our magnitude to that many digits of precision. So I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm actually going to make that 12.85 something 12.9, and I'm going to make this 13.0. I inadvertently clicked there and created a column. So if I click out here, it creates a column, you see. So I want to come up here and say, uh, let's go back up under edit and delete those columns. Um, so they're gone. See what happened? We'll do it one more time. I just click, I, I click with my mouse out here and it just made a column for me. Uh, so you can add a column of data. You can write text in there if you want to, to describe what's going on over here. Uh, but I don't really want that. So I come over here and I say, oops, that was an error. So I'm going to delete that column. Uh, that the, the mean is 13.1, let's say. The median is uh, also 13.1, and the standard deviation is 0 0.1. We'll keep an extra digit there, 0 0.10. Say OK. So now, by getting rid of all those extra digits, it shrunk the box up, you see. We could have made the text smaller. We could have expanded the axes out more. But now I've got a data table here that's telling me, uh, giving me some information, some statistics about what I'm seeing that I pasted in from the column statistics that I did over here. So what we've done here this time through is we made this arrow that went in over here. We made uh, some, some words that we wanted to have pasted on there that help us think about what we're looking at right there. And we made uh, a data table that refers to our um, statistics from there. There are other things we could do out in here. Those are the things that I find that I, I use the most commonly. I could, if I wanted to, uh, say the mean and the median is at 13.1. So I could try to find 13.1, go back up here and say, uh, let's look at the y-axis. Let's look at the ticks and grids and say, for some reason, the minor uh, ticks didn't get in there. So let's put the minor ticks in there and say, okay. Uh, so now we got some minor ticks, and I can say that's 13.05, 13.1. I could go back over here and make this just a line without an arrowhead on it and try to connect that. Uh, oops, got to be careful what I'm doing right there. Let's come back up here and try to connect that. I think 13.1 is right there to 13.1 over there. So now I've drawn a line in 
that is at the median is at the mean. Gives me a little bit of a visual uh, marker of what's going on right there. I might be better off actually drawing a line on there and plotting a line. So it's, it's, I know it's at the right level, but if I just want a, a marker there, now I can go back and instead of selecting the uh, the line without an arrow tip on it, I'm going to select the line with the arrow tip on it. Let's make it an open head arrow tip this time and say, okay. Uh, and then let's go back up here to text and put our text box in there that says um, mean slash median. Okay, there it is. Um, we can make that smaller like we did this over here. So hopefully that's helpful for you to think about how to manipulate your graphs to put some useful information on there for people to see. Uh, we'll have more for you uh, on future videos in this series. Good luck with your graphing, everybody. Uh, take care.